Toyota announces a price hike on the Innova Crysta MPV in India. The company will be increasing the prices by 2% on the current X showroom prices and will be effectively starting next month. According to the company, the input cost for manufacturing have increased which has forced the brand to increase the prices of the MPV. This increase is necessitated to offset the substantial increase in input cost. The last time company increased the prices, they stated that they will be absorbing the majority of the cost increases through their internal efforts and only a minimal portion will be reflected onto the prices. This seems to be the case for the latest price hike as it will go up by just 2%. The new Toyota Innova Crysta facelift is offered in a range of three variants, GX, VX and ZX. Currently retails between Rs 16.11 lakhs and Rs 24.59 lakh ex showroom Delhi. The 2021 Innova Crysta now receives an all new front fascia with a slightly larger front grille as compared to the outgoing model. This includes a larger grille, a new front bumper with an aggressive design and a new alloy wheel design among others. The new Innova Crysta facelift lift now features an updated infotainment system that features the new smart playcast technology along with android auto and apple carplay the top spec zx team now features a new tan colored upholstery giving the cabin a more premium look and feel the 2021 innova crista facelift remain unchanged mechanically the mpv is currently offered with two engine options 2.7 liter petrol and 2.4 liter diesel engines the petrol engine produces a maximum of 164 bhp and a peak torque of 245 nm while the 2.4 liter diesel unit churns out 148 bhp and 360 nm of peak torque both engines are offered with either a 5 speed manual or a 6 speed torque converter automatic 2021 audi rs5 india launch to happen soon audi india is gearing up for the launch of the rs5 sportback in india when launched the new audi rs5 sportback will take on the mercedes-benz c63 amg and the bmw m3 the audi s5 was recently launched in the country and it retails for rupees 79.06 lakh the rs5 will carry most of the styling cues from the s5 but in a meaner and angrier format the front end of the audi rs5 gets a more aggressive looking front grille that is slightly wider than the s5 then there are new air vents below the new front grille for a purposeful stance. Completing the frontal package is a set of optional LED matrix headlights. Other important changes include redesigned side sails, a new diffuser and a set of 19-inch wheels that helps the Audi RS5 achieve a more purposeful stance. Powering the Audi RS5 is a very familiar 2.9 liter TFSI twin turbocharged V6 petrol engine that puts out 444 bhp and 600 nm of torque. All of the power and torque is sent to all four wheels via an 8-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission. This setup enables the Audi RS5 to reach 100 km per hour from a standstill in just 3.9 seconds and on to an electronically controlled top speed of 250 km per hour. However, there is an optional RS package that will raise the speed limit to 280 km per hour. Potential buyers can book the Audi RS5 in Turbo Blue or Tango Red. Whichever option you go for, it will be a mean machine. Even though Audi has not yet officially revealed the price of the new RS5 Sport bag, we expect it to undercut both of its German rivals. Aprilia Touareg 660 unveil. Aprilia has officially unveiled its latest adventure bike, the Touareg 660. With the new Touareg, Aprilia brings the legendary name back to the ADV category after almost 27 years. The word Touareg comes from the Touareg people who live in the Sahara Desert and are known for surviving in one of the harshest environments known to men. The original Aprilia Touareg was launched in the 80s and quickly gained a reputation to be one of the best ADVs. One of the biggest contribution to the original Touareg's success can be traced to its design. Everything on the bike had a purpose. The new Touareg 660 has now been unveiled in the original red, white and blue livery as a tribute to the original Touareg of the 80s. Like the original Touareg, the new one also sports a purposeful design with a clear rally style windscreen, a neat looking triple LED headlight, big frontal air scoops, flat single piece seat, wrap around metal skate plates, serrated metal foot pegs, hand guards and a set of oversized wheels. Power sizing the Touareg 660 is a very familiar parallel twin 660cc motor from the RS660 and Tono 660. In the Touareg 660, the motor churns out 78.9 bhp and 70 nm of torque. Equipment-wise, the Touareg comes with the Brembo brakes, tubeless tire, compatible cross-spoke wheels, 43 mm USD forks with 9.5 inch of travel, traction control, 4 ride modes, ABS, cruise control and a 5 inch TFT LCD display. As of now, April has not given any hints on the pricing. However, when launched, it will take on the likes of Yamaha Tenier 700 and KTM 890 Adventure.
the full picture of the MG1 premium mid-size SUV was released. As the first premium mid-size SUV model based on the new Sigma architecture, the design adheres to the European sporty style and comes with two appearances, fashionable and sporty. The front face of fashionable trim has a three-dimensional sharp design. The grille adopts lightning parameterized design. The radial pattern concentrates the visual center of the entire front face of the MG badge. The tungsten steel electroplated material forms a distinct appearance like a sun. The contrast of light and dark highlights the three-dimensional effect of each flashing cell. MG1 has a tapering roof line which swoops downwards towards the rear. A dual tone color scheme seeks to highlight its exterior profile while a newly designed 3D grille add-ons the front. There are 18-inch alloy wheels supporting the vehicle and MG is likely to offer up plethora of customization options on the SUV. The passionate bubble orange exterior paint endows MG1 with unlimited imagination and power at the first glance, revealing a strong sense of action and strength. MG1, based on the brand's Sigma architecture, is a combination of functional elegance and cutting-edge digital technology. It is the debut of the brand's new architecture and design language, majorly fashionable and sporty. The brand's new architecture can compress the mechanical space of the automobile to the minimum and develop an interior space efficiency of up to 70%. Sigma is a fusion of machinery and intelligence, which translates the difference between horsepower and the ability of the software. Based on the concept of new age intelligence, the Sigma architecture has expanded the limit of automotive platforms. Through the flexible combination of more than 100 kinds of modules, the architecture design can create a variety of body types such as hatch and notch, sports car, off-roader, SUV, etc. to meet the user's diversified needs. The matte and delicate wilderness green exterior color makes MG1 sporty trim full of tactile sensation and combined with the exaggerated gunmetal grey family style MG grille, it looks like a camouflaged hunter ready to go in the jungle. Ola is all set to revolutionize the Indian market with the launch of its electric scooter. Ola had recently revealed the teaser of the upcoming electric scooter and had announced the registration for only Rs 499. It was noted that more than 1 lakh people registered for the scooter. Ola Electric has finally announced the launch date of its first ever vehicle. The company's CEO Bhavish Agarwal announced that much awaited electric scooter would be launched on 15 August 2021. The electric scooter from Ola will make its debut on August 15 and expect Ola to reveal its prices on the same day as well. The electric scooter has got an overwhelming response from the general public and has gained many prospective buyers in the process. Ola will be available in as many as 10 color options to choose from. Ola Electric to aggressively price the entry-level variant with a starting price of around Rs 1 lakh to attract more potential customers. In addition, it is expected that Ola Electric will offer almost similar levels of equipment on all three variants of the scooter to avoid confusion during the process. Booking for Ola's electric scooter started on 15 July and within 24 hours, the company received over 1 lakh bookings for the electric scooter. Ola Electric will manufacture the electric scooter at its Tamil Nadu plant with an annual production capacity of 1 crore units. The factory is said to be the world's largest manufacturing plant for two-wheelers. So guys, do let us know in the comment section what will be the pricing for the Ola electric scooter. And also do not forget to share, like and subscribe our channel Indian Drives.